Hi everyone, this is Budget with Jess and in today's video I'm going to be doing a kind of a budget with me but also how I break down my paycheck in half so if you're interested in this type of content go ahead and keep on watching. Again, thank you to everyone who, have, who has subscribed. I'm over 500 follower, follower, I mean subscribers now. Um, I do have a giveaway going on in my channel so I'll link it up in the corner and down below if you're interested in participating. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, just as a disclaimer before I start. I just wanted to let you guys know this is I'm not a financial advisor I'm not an expert in any way shape or form this is just works this is just what works for me at the time if I ever need to change it I will I mean I change it all the time since like I started doing the videos in the beginning and I've been budgeting or trying to budget for many years and I always change it up this cash stuffing system I'm still kind of new to it. I never used to do that. I try to do it digitally. It just didn't work out for me. So me pulling out the money and keeping them into envelopes has been the most successful way of me not touching that money. So I'm very glad I started doing that. Also, another disclaimer, I am single. I have no kids. So my budget does reflect that. Obviously, for a bigger family, a budget obviously looks different. Um, if there's one income and there's two incomes, obviously it's just me working to support myself and my dogs. So I want to start off with that. Also, <clears throat> I do live in Southern California. Uh, the pay is different. Thankfully, I do have a good paying job just because of the cost of living that is going up. Things are going up. So basically, my pay used to be above average, I would like to say. But now, which is everything being so expensive, I'm literally close to low income at this point um but i still get by also what was that i was gonna say something else um rent is high where i live thankfully i do live still with my mom i am an only child so i live with my mom obviously i'm not gonna leave her alone uh and the way that we have thought about how our living expenses would work is that she would take care of the rent and i would take care of everything else so i take care of the light bill of um of cable internet uh i pay her car insurance her disney pass i i don't always buy groceries for her because she does like to do that on her own but i mean anything that i buy obviously any groceries that i buy are obviously she is more than welcome to grab onto i also pay for the dogs for a lot of the dogs things so basically she is only in charge of paying for rent and really nothing else um, I take care of everything else so that is helpful and that is just something that has worked for us whenever I do have extra money I do give her rent money but I mean it's just that works out for us and I'm very thankful and so technically it is a two income home if you really think about it and so yeah so let's go ahead and get started I'm sorry that was a very long intro and a lot of disclaimers okay so the way that I do my check is that every paycheck I look at my check and I am a psycho that I look at I'm able to look at my hours and everything that I work I do like a rough estimate of how much I'm going to get paid how much everything is going to be taken out and I kind of know before I get paid how much my check is going to be depending on how many hours were worked and whatnot I am just a psycho like that um also right now I am getting an extra $580 every two weeks because I do have a settlement coming in because I got hurt at work <clears throat> last year or two years ago. And eventually that money is going to run out. It's not forever. I wish it was. Uh, but right now it's still into my income, into my budget. But at some point it's going to have to be taken out. I think I still have a couple, a few more months before it's actually taken out. I have to do the math of how much it's actually been. So... Yes, yeah, so I look at my paycheck and I cash stuff small bills weekly. I would like to work my way up into cash stuffing even my bigger bills weekly, but right now I'm just, I haven't been able to. I'm working my way up slowly. So right now I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, five bills that I cash stuff weekly, and that is actually pretty helpful. And so I go i look at my check i see how much it's, it is i automatically whatever big bills are due that week i take it out so um, my car payment i give 350 every two weeks so you do the math of how much my car pay it's actually less than that but i just give 350 every two weeks so i give 350 every two weeks to my car payment um usually car payment 
uh, insurance because that is a little bit higher is 318 for my mom and I and uh, like my cable my Disney pass I want to say so those four things I just whenever they're due I take them out automatically and I pay for them as soon as I get paid I don't like to like wait till like the last minute or whatnot because I am just like I, I need the money out of out of my account out of sight out of mind um so that's what I end up doing so let's see so this is just I already cashed up for the first week before I even got paid because of the holiday weekend I wasn't able to see my check until today Thursday so uh, I usually am able to see it on Wednesdays and be able to cash stuff but I wasn't able to do that so um, it's a little bit behind this week so I was able to look at my paycheck see how much I got paid so I have you know and I have it going to different accounts I do give $25 to a Roth IRA that that gets automatically direct deposited and also I put $15 into savings automatically gets deposited and so yeah so then I'm able to see what's going to get deposited into my actual check and that is how I work things so let me hold on let me check how much it is so into one account I'm going to get paid 1231 so in total my check that is going to come into my account is going to be 222 2222 dollars plus the 580 so I'm at 2802 dollars so from there I will take out I will take out my car and I have a Hawaii payment right now that I have to do uh, that will eventually be done we me and my family got into a payment plan and that's just what we pay so it's 120 for the Hawaii payment and 350 for my car so automatically I will take out 350 minus 120 so I have two thousand three hundred and thirty two dollars left so after that I have five hundred and seventy eight dollars that is a payment that I have to do behind the scenes so after that I have one thousand seven hundred and fifty four dollars so after all of that is taken out I do a um what do I do I do a I that's when I start cash stuffing my uh, weekly my weekly bills so I in the beginning of when I'm going to get paid I um what, what is it I uh I I obviously because I'm going to split my paycheck into half I still want to take out I still want to budget out how much I'm going to pay um, how much I'm going to pay for and for these two weeks it's going to be 246 dollars so it's I have two notebooks because I'm a again I'm a psycho in that way so I take out Obviously, this is going to be cut in half. This is going to be cut in half, cut in half. The Ulta one, I'm already fully funded, so I don't have to fund the second week or else it would be 50. So this is how I do it. And then these get split in half. But I like to put it into my budget because this is these are bills that need to be paid. So they're basically like non-negotiables. And so after that, I have $1,508. So that is what I have to play with for the two weeks and and instead of budgeting the $1,508 for the two weeks which I basically can but for me personally it doesn't work that way if I budget that much money if I budget a hundred because I give myself $60 for food or I mean for groceries each week if I budget the that much amount of money the $120 I don't want to go to a store and spend the $120 and then what if I need something next week and I just don't have any more money. I don't like to do that to myself. I don't know what works in my brain, what triggers it that if I cut it in half, it just works better for me and I end up having money left over. So from this, I divide into two and I have $754 to work with each week. So this is I since I already did my my cash stuffing for the first week and that was a rough estimate a little bit of more oh I don't hope I don't bring this this is for the first week and it was very um it was very limited like I did just 
not the bare minimum obviously like savings challenges were added like some shopping stuff i kind of like i said have rough estimate but i did it with like the very least of money and then the second week i can have a little bit of more money to play with so i think having so many notebooks might be confusing to people but it, it just works for me so in this category it's going to be 853 dollars that i'm going to budget for next week and $120 is already the fixed income, I mean the fixed uh, bills that I'm going to cash stuff. So these are already on here. And then I have $733 left to cash stuff. And I already did a rough estimate here. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already wrote out my bills that I'm going to cash stuff this week. Um, like. Ulta wasn't added on there because that's fully funded and it's due on the 11th, so I don't need to do it. I also have another calendar up here and I have my bills laid out. So Ulta is done on the 11th and I gave the last, I already have the $100 in there. So there is no need for me to cash stuff this week because... I already have the payment for the 11th I'm already like a week ahead I guess and then I tried to check if that's gonna mess me up for like the next month but I give myself 25 each week so it'll be 25 50 75 100 so I will be good for the week after that as well I will have the money before that so that's kind of how I look at things I need many calendars many visual things for me or else I get lost so thankfully for that week I will be good I could have kept cash stuffing and kind of got in like a month uh, not like a week ahead but I didn't want to confuse myself so I left it as that um for Verizon because I got the plan for myself I do will not be cash stuffing this much to it all the time but this is the bill that like I think some fees are going to be added on because when you first open up an account so i have to budget for that for when the payment comes out so that is good to go so i have all of this my subs this is just what i give myself every week 33 dollars, and i end up they come out at random times during the during the month but i have the money in there to keep paying myself back of when they do come out uh, my pet insurance like that one is also fully funded and I have some extra money in there so I just took that out from what I st would owe for the next month and my bill kind of went down like two dollars because of like the leftover money that I have in there if that makes any sense so let's go ahead and get started so then I would go with gas groceries eating okay so the why also I like to split my paychecks in half it's that every week my expenses might change maybe i'm gonna drive more next week than i am this week i kind of know already like my plans for next week and i know my plans for this week so i can kind of you know give myself a buffer maybe i don't need that much gas this week but i'm gonna need more gas next week and you know vice versa so i can plan myself out more every week a week ahead rather than a whole two weeks ahead of when i get paid um, and like I said, I, you know, things can be unexpected and all of that stuff, but I feel also if anything happens in the first week, I have a buffer for the second week in case anything were to happen. I have money in there to kind of back me up and, not, and it wouldn't make me want to, you know, swipe my card more or get myself more into debt than I already am. So because I might drive a little bit more this weekend, um, I wanted to give myself more gas money. I usually give myself around $30. I was giving myself 20, but 20 isn't gonna be cutting it anymore. I think I have to either raise it to 25 or 30. Um, I'm gonna give myself 40. That's still relatively very cheap to some people. And all I have to say to that is that I don't have an eight cylinder car or six cylinder car. I have a four cylinder car. I have a Nissan Rogue. I work about seven miles away. So it's a 14, uh, 14 miles round trip 
I'm very thankful for that. I work very, very close to my job. I mean, I live very close to my job. So I just don't spend that much money on gas. Also, I'm not driving around a lot everywhere when I'm out, you know, every day. It usually on my, my one day off during the week is when I do it. On the weekends, obviously, it's a little bit more. But I'm just not driving around crazy amounts that I need so much gas money. And I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate enough for that. I'm also a homebody. If I don't want to go do something I won't go and it's just it's just how it works out for me um I'm very thankful for that so $40 for next week would work for me or $30 usually a, a week works for me so that's $60 a paycheck also I fill up my car tank every single week I don't care how full it is I have put literally like it has not been full I mean, it has not em empty. It's been like between like the three fourth line and the full line. And I would still pump gas because trust me, I used to be one of those people that and it's, there's nothing wrong with it. There's totally nothing wrong with it. I used to be like those people that would drive on fumes. I would drive on fumes, literally hoping and praying that I would get to a gas station. But then you're paying so much money to fill it up. It's probably still the same amount at the end of the day. But in my mind, it hurts me less putting 20 something dollars in my gas tank than it is filling, filling it up in once and it's like seven, 60 to 70 dollars depending how expensive gas is just in my mind it works better and I feel better about it but that's just me that doesn't work for everybody and that's completely understandable there's also a gas station literally almost across the street from my house so that works out perfect for me <clears throat> And so, yes, this is why my, I mean, I think I spend less money on gas than most people. Okay. Also for groceries, I give myself $60 and I was giving myself 50, but 50 just wasn't working out for me. And like I said, I'm really just feeling, feeding myself. And if push comes to shove, I can literally just eat a couple noodles and I'll be fine. It's not the healthiest, but I can do it. Um, eating out is 40 uh, personal is 20 my dogs get 20 miscellaneous is five and giving is five so these numbers I I mean eating out maybe if I don't have enough money I need to cut myself I need to cut myself the second week or whatnot and I'm able to do that this is I'm not really going out to restaurants this is really like if I forget my lunch or if I'm work a 12 hour shift and I'm coming home and I don't have food ready and I'm so tired that I just want to pass by McDonald's and get something I mean we have when budgeting comes and I mean this I'm just speaking for myself I realized that me being more realistic about what things that could happen it's it works out better than me trying to try to achieve a goal that's really unrealistic for me like in in a perfect world I would cook every meal meal prep come down with the menu and have just food ready never spend any money but realistically that's just not life i might be at work they might tell me to stay 12 hours i want to stay 12 hours and i did not pack enough snacks for myself i have to eat um also i might not i maybe that day i was going to come home and meal prep and i just did not have the, the time after 12 hours so i'm going to go get myself some food and things like that do happen and it's better for me to prepare myself for those instances and have some money left over than to have these unrealistic goals or these unrealistic expectations I should say um, also personal for 25 I have to give myself some money if I'm at the store if I need like a, a mascara or something really fast I need some money to be able to have instead of just me swiping my card so that works out for me also for my dogs I mean they're like children so if they need anything I might have forgot that they needed like some treats or anything like that it's good to have money on there and then that money gets rolled over into their main envelope and then miscellaneous I like to give myself five dollars and I keep it in my wallet just in case of I overspend somewhere I have a buffer to give myself and obviously forgiving there's a lot of homeless people unfortunately there's a lot of people without homes and I would like to have some money to give people when I'm out and about and so this total is I'm sorry they're cutting the grass outside 195 so I will have 538 
to spend 538 so then after that uh, that is the money that I have to put into my um, into my sinking funds and so my sinking funds are could change from day to day there is some things that I need that I need to stuff every week that I have priority over my my binders are not set up as um, things that I like high priority or low priority they're high or low in my own head <laughs> so hopefully you guys are able to see and hopefully I don't catch on fire um so this is my binder which I guess can say more high priority if you will or I don't know um I do budget myself for Disneyland and I just have to be again realistic with myself I have a Disney pass I will go more often than maybe most people so I know I'm gonna go there and I'm sorry I'm not gonna take my own food I'm gonna want a churro so I need to budget myself for things like that so I have enough money in here of when those times do come that I want to go and I have enough money to spend there um, peel box right now I have a peel box and the only reason why I have a peel box is because uh, I live in apartments so the mailboxes were getting broken into so it was just safer for me to get a peel box I was paying it every three months but I think paying it yearly is going to be more affordable than paying it every three months and I had paid the last three months and I wanted to pay for the whole year and it's coming up at the end of this month um, that I have to pay for it so I'm really trying to pay for all of this so this is $16 and I should be ready by the end and then after it's going to turn into an annual bill so I'm very excited um, so 16 is going to go into there you know household I might not be stuffing this every week household or toiletries but I'm trying to just in case I need anything beauty like I said that's makeup I mean I'm a girl and I mean you don't need to be a girl to wear makeup anyone can wear makeup but I wear makeup and it's just my realist it's realistic in life I'm gonna wear makeup I don't have eyebrows I mean I do but I put them on and it's just money I need to spend on it's okay I need foundation I need stuff like that so realistically I need to put money into there whenever I can instead of just swiping my card because trust me I would uh, my dogs like I said I have pet insurance for them but they still get grooming they still get sick I mean with pet insurance I have to meet a deductible I have to pay for things um I have to pay for things up front and then they'll reimburse me and they'll only reimburse me 75% which is pretty good but still I have to have the money to pay it up front I also um I have to pay for like for just unexpected things when it comes to dogs I mean if you ever thinking about getting a dog just realize that they, they do cost money um and they do need to go to the vet they need shots they need vaccines they need if you have a long hair dog they need grooming they need to get their nails cut and they're just a lot of work and they're very expensive so I need to save up for that and I need that is a high priority because I need to put money in there every single week not everything happens every single week but you just never know and then for my YouTube I mean I need to I don't put stuff in here all the time but you know if I want to buy myself new envelopes and stuff like that putting five a dollar in there every week isn't gonna hurt sometimes I don't put anything in here and then giveaways obviously I want to give back to you guys so putting money away weekly also helps I think this one. Okay. I have 472 left so this binder is done And then after that, I have a credit card binder. So I have two credit cards left. I've been really focusing on debt, but this week, this paycheck is just not going to go that much. But I still want to do my 150 envelope challenge because that is helpful. And I'm going to put $28 in here. And every row I'm put, I, you know, I put it out in my envelope of the big payment that I will make for them. 
so that is how I'm doing that I try to do that every week every week obviously it goes up so now we have four four seven left and then going into this binder and this is more stuff that is more I guess it's medium priority it's for vacation I mean car and tags I need to I mean you want to be prepared for anything that might have been happen to your car I think I have I have 150 in here my car is fairly new but I mean tires can still go out things can still go out so I want to bulk it this up and I don't want to get it from an emergency fund so putting five dollars every week in there which is ten dollars a paycheck isn't too bad my car tags as well I just paid them and this is leftover money that I had so it goes into next year and trust me saving five dollars a week for your car tags it's so helpful because I think my car tags were $343 this year and I already had the money saved. So just knowing that I didn't have to pull it out of my paycheck was very liberating. It was very helpful. Emergency. It's going to get 10 and that's just me building my emergency fund up. Also for my dogs, they're going to get 20. Education is going to get five that's just for school my meds or medical it's going to get 50 and obviously everyone's going to have different priorities different situations different things they're saving up for not one budget is the same i should put something in dentist but i don't want to i refuse buffer i'm going to put 20 and this is for my checking account buffer i don't stuff this every week i stuff it when i can when i have a little bit of extra money i'm able to stuff it at some point i will deposit this i think i have 316 right now so i want to get it up to 500 dollars, and that's very helpful for me right now uh, uh, i'm sorry my writing is so crap you guys so for these three things these are not a priority I'm not pregnant or anything like that I'm just saving up for the future and I came to realize putting a dollar in here putting two dollars when I can isn't like going to break my budget in such a big way and you know eventually it will start building up a little bit more so last week I think I put a dollar but this week I'm putting two dollars so this is why you know again splitting it into two is very helpful you might change your mind this week you realize i don't have much going on this week that i need so much money for that i can put it into this my annual bills which is like sam's costco what is it what else do i have on here amazon prime this gets i put 15 dollars here and because i didn't start off right at the year i'm trying to catch up it gets $15 every week and that is again helpful because Amazon Prime you don't want to pay for it at, you don't want to pay for it all at once I have 11 left and then I'm gonna go into my this is my self finder I am gonna put shopping five and just because i'm losing weight and i need new clothes i think i sound like a broken record saying that health this is just for vitamins and stuff and i sometimes need things so five dollars will do self-care i mean just because we're on this debt-free journey does not mean that you cannot take care of yourself if a pedicure is like something that you need and it's gonna get you through life <laughs> then girl go get that pedicure it's just we have different priorities we have different things like i need to get a pedicure i'm sorry but i do maybe not every two weeks but at least like once a month i need a pedicure i work hard i would like to give myself this also i have waxing it's just something that i need and me putting how much am i putting putting 10 five ten dollars a week isn't breaking my budget and it makes me happy <laughs> so self-care is gonna get 10 piercings is another thing I am 
curating my ears. I had enough piercings already, but I would like more. It's expensive to get piercings and it's just something that I do like to do. So again, I'm not, it's not getting in the way of my debt free journey, but it's just something I want to do. So whenever I can, I put money in here. Hair is going to get 10 and I mean, I get my hair done. It's just a realistic part of life. I'm going to get my hair done and I'm not going to stop doing that. So me putting money in here every week is more helpful. Like I last week I didn't put anything. I don't know why I did it, but Hey, it is what it is going out. This is an uh, envelope. I don't stuff all the time, but I know I'm definitely going to go out. Sorry, my writing is so trash right now. I'm going to go out this upcoming week for my friend. She really wants to go out because she's in nursing school and she's finally going to talk to us. And um, I know I'm going to go out. I'm going to have a few drinks. I might need to get an Uber. So I would rather have the money there and be okay rather than just putting everything in the credit card. And it's just for one week or two weeks that I budgeted this for. So it's not going to be crazy. And then for my mom... Her birthday is today, but you'll be seeing this on Sunday, so her birthday has passed, <laughs> but this will probably be spent already, but I still want to keep putting money in here because I told her I will tint her windows, so thankfully, it's still not hot in California. It, it is so gloomy outside that I don't have to worry about tinting her windows right now, so maybe at the end of the month. So this equals to 120. So we have 191 left. So then after this, I'm going to go into my bills binder. So my bills are already, the ones that I'm going to pay are already done. I usually put $5, not usually, when I can, I put $5 in each bill to get a month ahead. I haven't done it in a while. I have about 11 bills on here, so it's around $55, but I didn't do it this week or last week. But I am, I still have, I do have a month ahead challenge. And for this week, I'm going to put 20. And then I have an oh shit envelope, which it's a little challenge. I'm going to put 16 in this one. And it's just to have things, sorry, my writing is really ugly. I just to have things, to have money in case... I forget a budget for something. I still haven't touched it, but I have it in here. It could also act as a buffer. Like I said, putting money in there when I can every week is it's eventually helpful. So we're now at one fifty-five, and I think we have one more <clears throat> binder to go through, which is my savings challenge binder. I don't online. I do stuff this every week. But I don't do every challenge every week. I don't do any of this every week. So for this one, I did a scratch off. And I think I owe myself $17. So I'm going to put that into the budget. Uh, I have a 10K challenge. It's just realistically, I can't stuff it every week. I don't remember the last time I stuffed it. But... I can't do it every week. I do it when I can. I don't have an end goal for this. I, Whenever I can, I'll finish it. House. This is a new one. I was putting, every week I was putting $20 in. I got this challenge and it's $25. So it went up by 10 and I still want to do it. So this is a priority to me um, that every week, so technically $50 is coming out of my paycheck for, for house. Then this is another debt one, which I'm going to restart it. I think I'm going to start with 24 and 1. So I'm going to put $25 on here. I just need to reprint it. And this just goes to extra debt payment. And it's been helpful putting money every week or at least once a week. And it helped me pay off the last few credit cards. My Hello Kitty challenge. I'm finally going to finish it. But I have took money out of here before for debt. So it's not the full amount, but this is just for regular savings. This challenge, I'm not stuffing it this week. And then 
my $500 one is going to get 15 and this is for my car insurance deductible. My deductible is 500 and I want to have it in the bank just in case of anything. Um, after I'm done with this one, I do want to save one up for my mom in case anything happens to hers. I have it, but at least I'll have one, hopefully. So um, if one of us knock on whatever does need it, it is there. So this is $92. So I have $63 left somehow and then $60 so my like I said my phone bill was a little bit higher than I had budgeted for and what I had left and those $60 I'm missing $60 from that bill it's already paid but I need to pay myself back so $60 will go to my card for Verizon sorry that's so ugly so I have $3 left that will be left in buffer. And I actually have a little bit more money in there. I think I have about $300 left in my buffer and that I tried to leave that there in case I forgot to, again, like another emergency thing in case I forgot to budget for anything. And yes, guys, so I think this is it. Then I will take this out for the next week and I will have that there. I thankfully, like I said, I have the 300 and something dollars in my bank account in case anything happens i also have some money in here in case anything were to happen i am kind of set so like i was saying this works out for me doing it weekly splitting my paychecks in half I, hopefully it made sense on how i do it uh i don't know if other people do it differently this is how it works out for me and i mean after i paid my bills and my um and you know my cash wallet which is you know things that I really need I still had a good amount of money left and trust me some weeks it's not like that some weeks it is not like that depending on how much I worked depending on how much mi I missed at work um because I do get sick and whatnot okay so. guys so hopefully this wasn't a long video I talked for a long time uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. Go ahead and like this video and comment down below. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.